Good morning class! In today's video, we will talk about the properties of matter. The properties of matter refer to the characteristics that enable us to distinguish one substance from another. And this is important in areas such as chemical and materials engineering where new substances are being discovered and made, making our lives more convenient. The properties of matter also find application in everyday life as we have to, uh, for instance, stay away from toxic materials. So in today's video, we will recall the properties of matter and we will look at whether these properties are either physical or chemical, intensive or extensive, and many more. Let's start! Question number one on properties of matter. Blank refers to the amount of matter in a substance, while blank refers to the amount of space that a substance or object occupies. A. Volume and mass. B. Mass and volume. C. Mass and density. D. Weight and density. The correct answer is letter B, mass and volume. Take note that mass pertains to the amount of matter in a substance, while volume is the amount of space occupied by the substance or object. For letter D, weight depends on the pool of gravity and does not pertain to the amount of matter in an object. For instance, a ball with a mass of 5 kilograms will have the same mass on the moon but it will weigh less because there is less gravity on the moon. Question number two. Which is not a physical property of matter? A. Odor B. Ductility C. Malleability D. Reactivity to acids The correct answer is letter D. Reactivity to acids is not a physical property because such property is determined by changing the composition of the substance. Here, review again that when you say physical property, it refers to a characteristic of a substance that can be determined without changing the composition of that substance such as texture, odor, hardness, ductility, malleability. Again, you don't you don't change the composition, whereas a chemical property refers to a characteristic of a substance that is determined when the composition of the substance is changed and one or more new substances are produced. Examples of chemical properties are combustibility, flammability, and reactivity with other substances. Question number three. Which of the following describes a chemical property of a substance? A. It is an odorless liquid. B. It tarnishes in open air. C. It is bright crimson in color. D. It boils at 132 degrees Celsius. The correct answer is letter B. Options A, C, and D are all physical properties. Question number four. Which of the following best describes solubility as a property of matter? A. It is a physical and intrinsic property. B. Solubility is a physical and extrinsic property. C. It is a chemical and extensive property. And D, it is either an intrinsic or extrinsic property. The correct answer is letter A. Solubility is both a physical and intrinsic property. When we say intrinsic or intensive, this means that the property does not depend on the amount of the substance. Examples of intrinsic properties are color, taste, odor, density, and solubility. Whereas, when we say extrinsic or extensive property, the property varies depending on the amount of the substance. And examples of these properties are mass, 
volume area. The greater is the amount of the substance or of the object, the greater would be these properties. For instance, if you have sugar, the volume would depend on the amount, whereas the solubility of sugar will not depend on the amount. Thus, solubility is a physical and it is an intrinsic property. Question number five. Silver can be hammered into thin sheets. Silver then exhibits the property called A. Brittleness B. Malleability C. Conductivity and D. Ductility The correct answer is B. Malleability Question number 6 Rihanna poured maple syrup to her pancake. She observed that the syrup resisted the flow. The property of matter exhibited by the maple syrup is A. Conductivity B. Softness C. Viscosity and D. Resistance The correct answer is letter C, viscosity. This property of matter, viscosity, pertains to the ability of a liquid substance to resist flow. A substance with high viscosity is said to be thicker than a substance with a lower viscosity. For example, honey, being more viscous than vinegar, would be thicker compared to vinegar. And this property of matter, called viscosity, is brought about by the intermolecular forces of attraction within our liquid. Question number seven. Calcite, fluorite, quartz, and topaz are rated three, four, seven, and eight on the Moss scale. Which statement is true? A. Calcite will often scratch fluorite. B. Topaz can scratch quartz. C. Fluorite is the hardest of the four. And D. Diamond will scratch all except topaz. The correct answer is letter B. Hardness is another property of solid substances. And we have the Moss scale. The Moss scale, which is a scale from 1 to 10, is based on the ability of one mineral to scratch another mineral. And the harder the mineral is, the higher is its rating in the Moss scale. Number 8. A materials engineer referred to X as a ductile material. Which of the following statements is true? A. X can be rolled into thin sheets. B. X can be drawn into fine wires. C. X can be melted into molds. And D, X is either copper or iron. The correct answer is letter B. Ductility is the physical property of a substance or material that pertains to the ability to be hammered or drawn into wires without breaking. A is incorrect because it refers to another property of matter, which is that of malleability. D is also incorrect because copper and iron are not the only ductile materials. Other ductile materials are gold, silver, erbium, terbium, and samarium. Question number 9. The density of a substance is an intensive property. Which of the following statements is true? A. Density is obtained by dividing the volume with the mass. B. It determines whether it will float or sink in another substance. C. Density is determined by measuring the length, width, and height. And D. 2 kilograms of gold has more density than a kilogram of gold. The correct answer is letter B. The reason why oil floats on water is that oil is less dense than water. A is incorrect because density is computed 
by dividing the mass with the volume and not the other way around that is volume divided with the mass d is also incorrect because two kilograms of gold has the same density as a kilogram of gold and lastly question number 10 a gas has neither definite volume nor definite shape because a the particles are densely packed b it is lighter than liquids and solids c a gas is composed of more than one type of atom and d the particles are at great distances from one another five seconds the correct answer is d as compared to solids and liquids in which the particles are tightly packed together the particles for our gases are at greater distances from one another all right so there we just reviewed the basic stuff if you want to answer more challenging exercises just comment your email address below so i can send you additional materials for you to work on if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for updates good luck